Hey Tommy, uh, there's a new Volkswagen in town. Okay, it's not new, it's refreshed. Yeah, we have a refreshed 2021 Artian and we are going to go over all the things you need to know about this updated Volkswagen model, talk about the uh, engine options, talk about the exterior, the interior, and go over the things you need to know. Yeah, and at the end of this video, we're gonna tell you about the cool bits that we're in America not getting because there's a bunch of cool models and some pretty cool um, versions of the car that we're not getting. Forbidden fruit, I fear. So why don't we just get right into it and let's talk about, well, the exterior styling, right? Well, it's been slightly refreshed, so we've got a new front end. Uh, the way the headlights are incorporated into the grille is a little bit different. The lower uh, portion of the front end is definitely updated and there's uh, new wheel options. The RT has always been a good looking car. Um, so yeah, I, I don't, I honestly, I don't think the difference is that huge. I think it looks pretty similar to the current one. Yeah, I think if I were to see this with a passing glance, I wouldn't know that it's very different uh, from the previous one. It's always been kind of, you know, uh, very um, svelte. Yeah, there are new bumpers. Um, and of course, uh, uh, there is the R-Line, which is Volkswagen's sporty version. And uh, that's an appearance package that now uh, comes standard on the RT on higher trim levels. Yeah, and in my notes here it says that the airline's exterior gets a little bit more aggressive, continuous low air intakes, and you can see those, right? Yep. Um, and there's an LED strip that runs through the grill, meeting at the upper VW badge, which is, uh, yeah, right yeah, that, there. That's pretty cool. I that's, do like that design cue. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, and, and standard RTMs get a chrome strip above the lower lip on the front bumper. I mean, we're talking about very small design changes. And of course, all versions will now get sharper looking LED taillights. Uh, and three key new colors are available. Oh yeah? Yeah, and those are uh, King's Metallic uh, Red, King's Red Metallic. Okay. Lapis Blue Onyx White on the R-Line models. Those yeah. are cool names, I love color names. So on the interior we do see some more changes. The steering wheel is updated. Uh, the climate control now is more of a touchscreen design rather than traditional knobs. Um, new ambient lighting, which is cool. On the door panels looks like there's some um, translucent light strips so you can kind of spruce up the interior of your RTN with some cool lighting options, new steering wheel with touch sensitive buttons, which we mentioned. It's got the latest version of Volkswagen's MB3 infotainment system, and now it's got wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability. You know, this has always been a car that's been more focused, I think, on European buyers than on American buyers. Uh, I think, you know, the Germans have been having kind of a cold war when it comes to creating the ultimate uh, sexy four-door coupe or sedan, whatever you want to call it. I mean, you know, I say four-door coupe. A four-door coupe is a sedan, right? <laughs> By definition. Well, I mean, it's got the, the well. <laughs> yeah, so so I still have my, uh, I have a hard time wrapping my, my I, I don't have a hard time wrapping my brain around it, uh, but, you know, traditionally, if you put four doors, it's a sedan. If you put two doors, it's a coupe, right? Uh, powertrain, only one option here in the US is a two liter turbocharged four cylinder. 268 horsepower, 258 pound-feet of torque, eight-speed auto. Uh, in Europe, they have a choice of options ranging all the way to over 300 horsepower, but in the US, there's only that one option and there's no diesel option available either. So as long as you like your RTN with a four-cylinder and an eight-speed, you're gonna be happy. Yeah, um, so there are three trim levels. Before we get to the forbidden fruit, you kind of uh, foreshadowed there a little bit of the things that Europe gets. Uh, so you, let's go over the three different trim levels. Uh, as always with Volkswagen, uh, there is the SE, which is the base. Yep. Um, you get uh, standard digital cockpit, touchscreen sensitive steering wheel, and dual zone climate zone. Wow. Yep, and then there's the SCL R line, which gives you wireless charging, that light bar in the front, a lane assist, traffic sign recognition, and then there's the SCL Premium R line, which gets the 20 inch wheels, and then a 700 watt Harman Kardon stereo system. All right, and then um, SC is front wheel drive only, uh, and uh, the four motion or the all wheel drive is available in the SCL R line, standard on the SCL Premium R line. Uh, and of course, uh, pricing has not yet been announced. But the current RTN starts at about $37,000. All right, well, there you have all of the changes coming to America, but the exciting stuff is the stuff that we're not getting. Uh, so let's talk about that because, you know, I love Forbidden Fruit, and every time I go to Europe, I'm amazed, Tommy, at just how many different options they have, like the Golf, right? Here in America, the Golf has like three variants or something, right? In Europe, there's dozens of variants. Uh, so the uh, RTN also is like that. Uh, so let's talk about that. Uh, so first of all, uh, the cool one, the one that I would buy if it came to America is uh, the shooting brake, uh, which is a wagon. 
Yeah, for sure. And that's got more of a squared off rear roof line for additional storage. In Europe, of course, they have the sporty Passat wagons, which you don't get in the US. And we're also not getting the wagon RTN, which makes sense because Volkswagen's pretty much killed um, most of their wagons for the American market. So the fact that we are not getting the uh, more squared off version is, is totally yeah, Volkswagen, reasonable. Volkswagen says the demand for wagons is too low to justify the cost of getting it ready for sale here. Yep. I'm not sure, I, you know, uh, I, I, love, I love a lot of Volkswagen models uh, and sometimes uh, to me it seems like Volkswagen makes a lot of decisions uh, for America, not in America, but in Wolfsburg where they're headquartered. And I'll give you a classic example of that, uh, you know, the, the, the van, right? Uh, which you can get uh, in Europe would sell like hotcakes over here. Yes, but wagons are different, Dad. Nobody buys wagons in the States. I mean, there's a reason that the Jaguar wagon, they sell like the three of them every year. Yeah, yeah, the sh yeah it's, it's just not popular. Uh, what, is, what, is, what is it called, a shooting brake? I'm sure there's some, some there's, I don't I'm know sure. the, the Google, history out there, Google it. it. I'm sure it has to do something with like rifles and hunting and taking your vehicle to the estate and going grouse hunting or something. But yeah, it's just, you know, in America, grouse hunting, and shooting brakes probably don't make a lot of sense, but wagons do. And yeah, I know there's this thing about automotive journalists all loving wagons, and unfortunately, uh, a lot of people here don't, but wagons are just freaking good looking. All right, um, the other thing that you can get in Europe, which we can't get here, is the RTN R version uh, with a much needed, I think, boost in horsepower, 315 horsepower. Yeah, exactly, and that one's not coming to the U.S., so we are getting the R-Line, which is the appearance package, but not the additional horsepower. And there's also an e-hybrid plug-in model, which will also launch in, in the world market, but not in the U.S. Yeah, so, you know, it's, it's one of those, like, uh, vehicles that I think Volkswagen brought over here uh, and is actually kept over here because uh, it represents, I think, some of the best design and some of the kind of, kind of coolest look of Volkswagen, so it does give the brand kind of a more premium feel, kind of a more premium look, but um, I don't know. I would love to see a wagon of that, but then again, I'm an auto journalist and I can only buy one, and they're not gonna make money selling only one. All right, guys, well, thank you for joining us for this just quick update on uh, the new 2021 RTN update. Uh, let us know in the comments below what you think of the new vehicle, and as always, check out tflcar.com for more news views, and of course, if you wanna see more pictures of this uh, RTN reviews. See you guys next time, ciao. See ya.